What's up, everyone? Hope everybody having a fabulous day. I know I am. Let me first get some music going in the background. And here we go. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm House That Speaks. I've been a uh, DJ since 2017. And my uh, particular uh, content here, I usually try to give um, up and coming and also established DJs um, and new DJs uh, some tips and tricks and things of that nature to to uh, hope to ease them in their DJ path. But today we're going to do something different because as you can see on the ticket, there was some breaking news that happened as of yesterday. So if you are watching this recording, you're watching it on a Wednesday, which is July 12th, but the breaking news hit yesterday, which is July 11th. And that news is Pioneer DJ, um, as of yesterday, now owns Serrano's DJ. So if you not know, um, and you don't know, now you're going to know. I know there's a lot of other DJ content creators has came out with uh, their take and their information on it. Um, I will be putting links on the description, um, on the subscription box below, below so you can uh, check things out for yourself. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, first share my screen here because um, I'm going to take this, I'm going to put this, I'm going to uh, put another layer to this. Oh, no, this is not it. Sorry about that. Here we go. So I'm going to share my screen right now. Here we go. And what you see in here is an article that uh, Digital DJ Tips um, have um wrote regarding this uh that this news that broke out yesterday um i'm going to read the article and i hope everybody follows me as i read it and i'm also going to um throw my little um reaction to the article so we're going to um start here and it goes like this Pioneer DJ has today, but this is as of the 11th of July. I'm going to start again. Pioneer has today announced that it is to buy Serrano in a move that will send shockwaves through the DJ world and that despite reassurance of the contrary, has to bring into questions of the very survival of Serrano as a DJ platform longer term. Now, I'm sure there's a good number of Serrano DJ users are kind of on the fence on how this new acquisition is going to benefit them. But uh, I'm sure as new news and new information comes arrive you'll probably have the answer that you need but we're going to continue reading okay this is how the news was announced today by pioneers parent company alpha thea alpha thea is the parent company of pioneer dj for those who didn't know and and the quote says alpha thea corporation market leaders in DJ hardware and software through the Pioneer DJ brand and Serrano Audio Research Limited, market leaders in the DJ and audio software, are delighted to announce subject to the approval of the New Zealand, New Zealand Overseas Investment Office and other commentary conditions that the two companies had agreed on the acquisitions of all Serrano shares by Alpha, Alpha Thea. Now, this is kind of big. And the reason why I say it is because, remember, 
Serrano DJ software has been out for at least about 25 years. Uh, if I am not, um, you know, if I'm not saying that right, please um, correct me in the comments. I appreciate that. And I know Pioneer's record box has not been out that long itself. So for a parent company like Pioneer DJ, even though we know Pioneer DJ is the jugging up when it comes to uh, DJ hardware, for, it, for that company to be able to, you know, have full ownership of Serrano, which, you know, Serrano is like one of the standing DJ softwares that's out there. It's, it's a game changer and it's going to be a game changer in a lot of ways. Like I said before, I'm sure a good number of Serrano DJ users are, like I said, on the fence about this new acquisition. But as as myself, who is a pioneer DJ user, I mean, I have I use their hardware as well as their software, which is Recordbox. This is a, an exciting event, you know, for us uh, pioneer DJs who's out there. So let's continue. Okay. So subject to usual approvals, Pioneer DJ now owns Serrano. The question is, what does this mean to DJ for DJs? Gilly, okay, Gilly, uh, Pioneer. I mean, I'm sorry. Recordbox DJs should expect their substandard stem performance to be boosted by folding in Serrano stem tech, the wider point being that Serrano's R&D will benefit Recordbox. But let's, let's dig in a little deeper. Okay, so what this, what this portion of the article is talking about is that the benefits of record, the benefits of Pioneer DJ requiring record bus, especially with, and I hate to say this, with Pioneer being last coming out with the stem, uh, with the stem separation. And I have watched other uh, contact DJ videos that compare, you know, between the uh, the stem separation from. Uh, Virtual DJ versus uh, Serrano and versus Recordbox. And like I said, even though I am a Recordbox user and Pioneer user, I have to admit myself that the STEM separation system in Recordbox is subpar. I, I I have to say it. I mean, I I have used it to my through my sets, and even though certain tracks it works beautifully other tracks especially when you're trying to when you take the vocals out you still hear the little of the vocals and it shouldn't be the case you sh once you once you hit that button to take the vocals out you shouldn't hear the vocals at all so that tells me that pioneers just was not up to snuff when they came out with their stems versus serrano but now I feel that with the uh, acquisition of Serrano, the STEM system, you know, for record box will definitely improve tenfold. I am excited about that. Now, like I said, um, this 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 article is from uh, Digital DJ Tips. Uh, Phil Morris is actually the owner and you know this is his baby he also has a video talking about the news and i will also um post that link in the comment center section so if you want to listen to bill's take on this um news about uh pioneer owning um serrano but we're going to um continue with the uh, article okay so let me make sure that i have everything here Let's move it up. Here we go. Want to make sure that everybody spawns along. Okay, okay. Here we go. It's now 
what does this mean for Serrano users? Now, that's this is the question here. This is, I'm sure, a lot of Serrano users are asking. Okay, so now we're on the Pioneer's umbrella. So what, you know, how are we going to benefit? Okay, well, this is where well, the article reads as follows. Part of the statement also reads, and I think they coordinate from the uh, actual, um, you know, actual acquisition when they made the announcement. So I'm going to quote that as well. Okay. While the partnership will capitalize on the combined um, it's okay. Enterprise of both companies, Alpha Athena and Serrano will continue to operate as standalone brands. This includes the continuation of their long standing partnership with key players in the DJ hardware and software industry. So what, what Alpha Thinger is saying is that we're not going to change anything regarding the dealings that Serrano has made with other um, uh, DJ hardware companies using their software. And then of course, you know, Pioneer will still continue to, um, use record bots for their uh for their hardware so that means you have um hardware companies like new music and uh, who under new music's umbrella you're talking about rain you're talking about Denon, and you're talking about newmark so they so they don't have to worry about um serrano leaving you know right away so they still will be able to use Serrano for their DJ hardware. And then you have other companies like Reloop and Hercules and, 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 and others. They don't have to worry about uh, Serrano leaving, you know, them as far as using their software. So they'll still be able to do that. So it'll still be business as usual, but the question is, for how long? Now, I'm going to finish reading this. Is it in short? then it seems that Serrano's future as a platform is safe. However, medium term and beyond, it surely becomes more uncertain. Why? Well, there is the obvious. Why would a DJ hardware company need two software brands where that software does essentially the same thing? Now, what I want to say to those who is under the new music umbrella that means djs who's use who's using um newmark and rain and Denon, especially dan and and newmark because they also use the engine dj software what i hope that those djs who's using those hardwares would do is to write in full blast to new music and request i mean request that engine dj becomes a standalone dj software period no more piggybacking it's time for that particular software to be front and center and especially if you want to compete against now the the combined juggernaut of uh um, of alpha theta because now alpha theta owns serrano which serrano was you know for for years um record box biggest competitor now it's under their umbrella so what i'm saying for those who's who's used uh those uh hardwares and use the in engine dj you guys need to really let them know look you guys need to do stand up you want to compete against them and especially Denon DJ is striving and improving and innovating, and they want to become the quote unquote industry standard. If you want to do that, you bet then you, you guys better, um, you better become standalone. You have to, you ain't got no choice. Cause if you don't eventually and this is me speculating, so don't quote me on it. But eventually, 
there's going to be some kind of hybrid combination between record box and serrano and if that happens i'm sure there's going to be a lot of uh, dj hardware companies that's going to be left in the cold if they don't have their own dj software you heard it first you know i'm not saying that i'm predicting the future but what i'm saying is usually with you know when companies do this that's usually the next step so let's continue reading here wait a minute am i let's see where am i okay here we go <clears throat> sorry about that let me get back here okay here we go then serrano of course partners with brands like Roland, Relu, Newmark, and Rain to produce uh, Best Point hardware for its software, all of whom are direct competitors with Pioneer DJ. That's what I, I was mentioning before on software. These companies would effectively be negotiating with a competitor to license software for their products. We guess they would be less willing to do so, meaning they may withdraw from making Serrano controllers. That would lead to Pioneer's future increasing its already dominant position as the hardware Serrano DJ use. That's what I was just mentioning before. You know, it's going to come a time where, you know, Piney said, well, look, we own Serrano, so we don't want to use our software to help you to, to help your hardware. Y'all going to have to figure that out yourselves. And if that's the case, like I said, it's going to be a lot of hardware companies going to have some hurt feelings because of that. Now, for now, you know, uh, Pioneer and uh, Serrano is doing business as usual, but that's the short term. You, you got to start thinking the long term, guys, because it's going to happen. Because usually businesses like that, like this, and especially when they make these kind of dealings, nine times out of ten, the parent company will take, you know, especially if they own it, they have full control on it so they can do what they want with it. They can pretty much tell the rest of these software, these hardware companies, these DJ hardware companies, well, we're no longer going to allow you to use our software unless some other deal gets struck. And if that happens, that that may hurt the software, you know, that hardware company as far as selling their products out to to their to their uh, consumers. But we'll see how it goes down the line. Okay. <clears throat> Pioneer was already, yeah, that's right, I'm over here. Pioneer was already in somewhat strange position of having to make hardware for two platforms. Remember, a good number of Pioneer's hardware has been implemented to use both Recordbox and a Serrano DJ Pro. I think, yeah, there is a couple that use serrano dj light but when you talk about the mid to the high end of um hardware it's both uh record box and um serrano dj uh pro and the good thing about that is it's automatic it, you, all you have to do is connect it to your um to your laptop and you log into either um in record box or uh Serrano's uh, website and it automatically can play if it be on performance mode and you have all the bells and whistles so you don't have to pay extra there's no license no nothing and that's one of the good things about Pioneer doing this because now they're going to really take advantage of the of using two of the platforms <clears throat> okay where was I uh, let's see okay mainly due to the market force many djs uh love to use serrano but as owner and dominant hardware manufacturer for both 
of those platforms, it would make sense for Pioneer DJ to further its effort to combine the two. And that's what I'm trying to get DJs that's using other platforms to understand. And especially if you're a DJ and you are using uh, hardware from new music and, you know, especially new Mark and Denny that use the uh, engine DJ software. You guys, like I said, I will start writing to that parent company and tell them, look, you guys need to start implementing to make um, engine DJ a full blown standing standalone uh dj software because we already seeing the right on the wall there's going to be a time where pioneer is going to say we're no longer going to allow serrano to be used for other um dj hardware platforms and if these and if these are uh, hardware uh companies don't start implementing their own software to make it to make it so that it can be a full blown standalone. Like I said, you're gonna be out of the code. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just telling the truth. I'm just telling the truth. Okay, Serrano users need to need not to worry for now. Like I said, for now. That's why I love. That's why I chose this article to uh to print sentence because it's telling some facts here okay but should be ready for big changes in years ahead like that's why i'm saying you got to start thinking long term don't think short term don't think that all oh, everything's all you know smiling face and roses because there's going to be some thorns coming in the long run and if you're not prepared you're gonna get lost and you know and that would be bad as far as you know you know as far as djs and it's definitely as far as competition because healthy competition is good i mean we don't i don't want a monopoly where one company dominates everything it's it, it's refreshing when you see you know a big company and then you got other companies you know jockeying for that position to see if they can knock that big company off its perch hey that's the american way love it or not don't hate it though okay i think i'm gonna go to the next one okay here's another question that post here it says how may this affect the rest of the industry now that's i love this question and we're gonna see what this article says okay it reads this is of course all speculation but should a manufacturer wish to make a DJ controller from now on with Pioneer owning both the main software brands, Serrano and Pioneer's own record box, uh, account for nearly 80% of software use. Re I want y'all to hear that number. I'm going to repeat this again. I will repeat this again. This is the this is of course speculation but should a manufacturer wish to make a dj controller from now on with pioneer dj owning both the main software brands serrano and dj and, and pioneer dj own own record box account for nearly 80 percent of software use such a manufacturer will have only a couple of other choices among bigger players virtual dj and and dj pro neither may feel like a good fit it as stated this new fact of life may simply discourage new controller development and this is why i'm really stressing the fact that engine dj needs to become a standalone and now you need to become a standalone you're gonna need you're going to make it so where other soft other hardware can be used on on your dj platform because 
like I said, Pioneer now owns Serrano. These are the two biggest DJ software uh, entities that's out there, especially in the DJ world. You know, I mean, you can go to any DJ, and when they said they said eighty percent, I'm gonna say it's higher. I'm gonna say it's eighty five, because even the DJs in my circle, they're either using Recordbox or Serrano. That's it. I don't know too many other DJs. I know a few DJs who 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 purchased in it is using the engine DJ software, but that's those DJs who buying Denon or who's buying Newmark. Those are the ones are the only ones that's using the engine DJ software. But if you're using most of the hardware like your you know like your Pioneer, your Rain, uh your Hercules, your Reloop, you're gonna you I mean, if it's Pioneer, you're gonna use both Ser Serrano record box. The other ones is mostly Serrano. But that's gonna, you know. But like I said, that's short term. You know, we gotta think about the long term. Now, here's the here's the one I want to read. But there's a twist in music. Yeah, that's right. I said new music. My fault. It's called the apparent company for uh, Rain, Denon, and Newmark. It's in music. My fault. My bad. It's the owner of Newmark and Rain, and also Denon DJ. Three other biggest names in DJ gear outside of Pioneer DJ. It already has its own software platform, embedded system engine DJ. It may feel, let's say, okay, in conservative to now develop engine DJ, which is well regarded into a full software platform. It is big enough company to do so, and it and it do so well. And I'm going to admit, Engine DJ is a good software. I mean, it has done a lot. I mean, you can you can also use it will also analyze your um, flash drives if you have record box in it. It will analyze it, and you can use it to play on you know on their hardware. Now, there's not too many softwares that can do that. But now, I think it's time for engine, engine DJ. If they really want to be competitive, you got to be a standalone soft, stand soft, software. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. So well, we're gonna, I'm going to go to this. I'm going to go to this last part of the article. You know, like I said, um, you can read it at your leisure. I will post this on the... Um, on the comments below and i also will put it in the, the subscription and i'm also gonna also add two links i'm gonna add um i'm gonna add phil morris the man who runs uh D digital dj chips i'm gonna add his uh his uh his video speaking on this and i'm also gonna add uh b sources mojax dj mojax you know and his take on it so i'm gonna add this to but the, this is going to be my last thing saying about this, okay? Okay, a two-horse race. Okay, ultimately, DJ tech is a small world. Pro DJs tend to value simplicity and consistency, and consistency, and I can vouch for that, and are generally happy to use Pioneer DJ gear in the DJ booth. The brand's dominant, the brand's dominance reflects that. Now, I'm going to say this. I know this is going to trigger a good number of DJs, but because it's always been telling for me that DJs has this thing that frowns on Pioneer DJ being the industry standard. Well, there's no doubt now after what, what they did and what they're doing, especially with the acquisition of Serrano. Pioneer DJ is the industry standard. Bar line. You know, period, point blank, get mad in the car. Okay. However, Monopoly usually 
stifles development and innovation. So competition is good, but to compete with the dominance and might of Alpha Thea, AKA Pioneer DJ, a company needs resources and brands in music has both. And that's what I'm saying. I feel that once in music's um, engine DJ software becomes a complete 100% full blown standalone, it's going to compete with, uh, with Alpha Thea. It's going to compete with Pioneer DJ. And I'm all for it. I am. Because, like I said, I checked out Engine's D, uh, Engine DJ software. It's a great software. And they keep improving and improving. And the one thing I like about what Engine DJ is doing, and, you know, and in music as a whole, is they listen to their consumers. If their consumers don't like something, they change it right away. If a consumer wants something added on to the software, they they add it on to it right away. They really they are in tune with their consumers. And that's a good thing. And that's what healthy competition is all about. Because remember, when it boils down to it, the one who has the last say so is us, the DJs who's buying these products. We have the we have the final say on everything. And if you want us to continue our faithful and our loyalty to your brand then what you know whatever we see that's not that's a miss we need you to take care of it and take care of it asap so i just wanted to say that okay i'm gonna now i'm gonna finish up um we now view the cons the consideration if i'm I hope i'm saying it of the DJ world, no, the, yeah, the consolidation of the DJ world, DJ tech world as being a two horse race. If this news encouraged in music to hasten its entry into the full blown DJ software world, we may see the kind of shot in the arm for DJ software, software that in music's engine dj platform give to standalone systems a two horse race may just be good news for djs only time will tell but one thing we do know this is the biggest shakeup in the dj world for quite some time and i have to agree 100 percent. indeed we're in more than a niche industry such as such a takeover may be subject to regulation around monopolies but that seems unlikely so we have a new future let's see where it takes us so i'm i'm going to uh, stop sharing right here so bear with me let me stop sharing okay now what I want to ask is, what do you think about this news? If you are a pioneer DJ user, you know, how you how does this benefit you? Will it benefit you? I mean, remember, you're gonna be you're gonna have the the uh access to uh Serrano's of you know innovation and in their uh you know, in a research and development, which only can do is strengthen a record box, you know, software. Now, if you're a Serrano music, I mean, Serrano user, how do you feel about it? Do you feel slighted? You feel like, you know, you got cheated on? You feel like, how how dare Alpha Fina, how, how dare Alpha Fina, to buy my favorite DJ software, or better yet, how dare Serrano for allowing Alpha Thea to buy my favorite DJ software? What do they think they're doing? I am not happy about this. I don't want Pioneer taking something that is mine 
Serrano is mine. I grew up with Serrano. Serrano has been my DJ software since way back when, since the scratch version. So DJs in the world, all my new DJs, all my upcoming DJs, even my established and my, my old guard DJs. What do you think about this news? Sound off in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace out.